the last time you saw this simple circuit. Uh, and we learned that the current is the amount of charge that's flowing past the point per unit of time. So 5 amps would mean 5 coulombs of charge is flowing past every second. And whenever whatever current goes in must come out, otherwise charge has been destroyed and then it's not possible. So in this case it's 5 amps throughout the whole circuit. Okay, what about potential difference? So here, as the, the charge goes through the cell, it's going to gain 2 joules of energy per coulomb of charge. So that's the potential difference. It's the energy transferred or the work done per unit charge. So here each joule, uh, each charge is going to gain 2 joules of energy. And it's not going to use that in the wire, so it's just going to keep on that. And it has to come back with 0. It has to use all that energy. Okay, so that you can see the difference between these points, hence the term potential difference, is 2 volts. 2 minus 0 is 2 volts. Okay, here we have a simple series circuit. Series circuits means that the components are right next to each other and that whatever current goes through one must go through the other. So in other words, current in must equal current out. So here's the model for it. So it turns out in this case it's going to be 10 milliamps that's flowing out of here. So it's going to be 10 milliamps throughout. It's not like the current slows down after it goes through a resistor or anything. It must be held the same throughout in this case. Okay, what about potential difference? So potential difference, because in this case one of the resistors has three times more resistance compared to the other one, it's going to use more of the energy for each charge that goes through it. So when the charge leave the cell they leave with two joules of energy per charge the so two volts and they don't use that here and they have to come back with zero okay so now they're going to divide the energy in the ratio of the resistance so they're going to use 0 0.5 here and they're going to use 1.5 volts here so when it goes through this one it will use up 0 0.5 leaving it with 1.5 volts and then it'll use that across this one and leave with uh, zero joules of energy per charge okay so what's the effect of adding resistors in series if i keep adding resistors in series it's just going to carry on increasing the resistance of the circuit because the current will have to go through all of those compo uh, components so this will just slow the current down okay so to summarize so for components in series the cur current flowing through uh, them is the same as so, so whatever current goes in must come out and when you when you have the potential difference is going to be shared in the same ratio as the resistance so the bigger the resistance the bigger f fraction of the potential difference it will get and finally adding resistors in series is just going to increase the total resistance which decreases the current okay here is the parallel circuit it doesn't matter which order i put the 50 and 150 ohm resistor it's still they're still in parallel and so here's the model for it so the first thing to spot with a parallel circuit is that the potential difference across them things are in parallel must be the same if two things are in parallel they must have the same potential difference so in this case i'll show you why so if we if each charge leaves with two joules of energy and it's not going to use that two joules on these wires okay, and it has to come back with zero volts So you can see it's going to use 2 volts across this and it's going to use 2 volts across this as well. Okay, so that's the first point. The potential difference between them must uh, across them is the same. Okay, now in terms of current, so if I, it turns out if I do the maths, the current through this is going to be, uh, the total current through this is going to be 53 milliamps. And at this junction, the current is going to divide. Some is going to go down this way, and some is going to go down this way. It turns out the current through this way is only 0. Point, uh, sorry, 13 milliamps. And down this way is going to be 40 milliamps. So you can see whatever current goes into a junction must come out. Okay, so otherwise charge won't be conserved. And then this current is going to flow through here. So it's still going to be 40 milliamps here. 
going in here and in this end it's going to be going in there it's going to be 13 milliamps and so coming out will be 53 milliamps again so it'll be 53 going back into the cell and coming out of the cell as well okay so um so the key points here are for components um, that are parallel with each other the potential difference is the same i put this in bold because it's the first thing you need to spot when you see something in parallel with each other okay and secondly uh, at a junction the current is going to split up okay but whatever the current goes in must come out and most of the current will go down the path with the least resistance and finally this is the counterintuitive part so what happens when you add components in parallel when you keep adding components in parallel so you'd think firstly that because you're adding more resistors that the resistance would go up but in this in the case of adding um, them in parallel actually the resistance goes down this is because just for example imagine if i didn't have this route here if i didn't have the 150 ohm then there's just a 50 ohm resistor and all the current would have to go through the 50 ohm resistor but if i add this resistor which has more resistance it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I'm still providing an alternative route for the current to flow through. Even though that route is more difficult, you know, now the charge has the options of going through the 50 ohm resistor and the 150 ohm. So the total resistance has actually gone down. 